Hey you guys, it's baby Macy again. When we left the story last, a big old bear had just come out from behind Brittany's tent. Everybody was shocked. So here's the rest of the story. Just then, Brittany popped out. Brian, what's that? Her mouth stayed open, but the sounds stopped coming out. Brian didn't know what to do. Suddenly, from the other side of camp, he saw someone waving an egg carton and a paper bag. Hey, over here, Kevin shouted as he waved the trash. Hey, bear, look over here. The bear turned toward the sound. Brian hissed, now, Brett, back up slowly and duck behind the tent. Brittany never took her eyes off the bear, but she backed away. The bear started moving toward Kevin, so Brian ran to Brittany. Come on, he whispered. They raced behind the next tent. The bear was stalking toward Kevin. Drop it, Kevin, and back away slowly, Brian called to him. Move toward that tree, and we'll meet you there. The bear snatched up the A carton Kevin dropped and shredded it. The kids huddled behind the big tree and watched. What do we do now? Brittany whispered. Run? Tired of not finding food, the bear stood up on its back legs and answered her. <coughs> no, we don't want the bear to chase us. Brian put a hand on their arms. Let's just back away one tree at a time. When we get to the trail, we'll run. <clears throat> they backed away, watching the bear sniff through the trash again. Now, Brian finally whispered. They turned and ran down the trail as fast as their hiking boots would carry them. Is it following us? Brittany panted when they slowed down. I don't think so. Brian stopped and leaned against the tree. I think we're safe now. Let's wait for Dad right here. Kevin looked back. How about waiting for him up there? He suggested, pointing to a tree limb over their heads. Good idea, Brian and Brittany said at the same time. Well, Brittany grunted as they climbed. I wanted to see a bear, but not so close. Thanks for saving me, Kevin. Kevin didn't answer, but Brian agreed. That was brave, man. I guess you really do know something about bears. Kevin didn't even look at them. I've never seen a bear before in my life except in a zoo, he finally said. I was scared to death, and after all, it was my fault. I didn't put the trash bag in the van. Brian stared at him. That's right. It was the trash that attracted the bear. But you've never seen a bear? Not even in Alaska? I've never even been camping before, Kevin admitted. I don't know how to shoot a gun, and I'm terrible at football. Then why did you say all those things? Kevin asked. Kevin pointed at Brian. Because of him. His dad is always telling me what a great kid he is, that he can do all these amazing things. How am I supposed to feel? Brittany laughed. Kevin, you should have asked me. I could have told you he wasn't that wonderful. Brian ignored her. He was confused. Dad told you that, Kevin? He kept telling me how great you were. Kevin blinked twice. Anyway, I knew coming on this trip was a bad idea. It's not exactly a secret that you wish I wasn't getting in the way of your vacation with your dad. Brian cleared his throat. Well, I just don't get to spend a lot of time with him, and I had it all planned out. Kevin interrupted. This isn't exactly my plan for the summer either. I was supposed to go to my dad's, but he's, like, busy or something. Brian was quiet. He had never thought about Kevin's side of the story. This messed up his plans just like they did mine. I guess we really have a lot in common. Hey, what are you guys doing up there? A voice called from below. There's a bear at our camp, Brittany shouted to the group as she and the boys scrambled out of the tree. We barely escaped. Wait until you hear how Kevin saved me. Kevin blushed. It was nothing. Besides, the reason the bear came was my... But Brian interrupted him. We forgot to put the trash away, he explained. But Kevin was amazing. Cindy rushed over to her son. You're not hurt, are you? She looked at him over like he might be hiding a broken arm or a bear bite. Kevin rolled his eyes. Thanks, he whispered to Brian. Brian smiled. No problem. That's the story for today. Tune in tomorrow for another awesome story. See you then.